The Monster Mile, located in Dover, Delaware, is a handful for veterans and rookies alike. This one-mile concrete oval is a self-cleaning racetrack with banking so high, it's described as a roller coaster ride by the drivers. Momentum is a key to winning at Dover, but Miles the Monster lurks around every corner, waiting for you to make a mistake. Racing at Dover here today. Dover International Raceway. And we're going green. Green flag is out. We're underway. We're battling here. Well, I've had 12 times. Pretty good qualified run. Probably the best qualified run of the season. Uh, Danica's going to go by Trevor Bain. We did all get a great start. And right now, Casey Mears is going to go by. Before, there's our rival, Austin Dillon. I've been wrecking us twice last week. And uh, we're going to get him right off his quarter panel. Right, right there on that rear quarter panel and show him still that we're not pleased with him. But we're 27 to go. We're trying to drive it up around him here. But there's mirrors and look at this, just gonna sail this thing off and it's going all the way there to wreck this. The top 15 day today would not be bad if we got up in the fence. Ooh. Rubbing on Austin Dillon's quarter panel a little bit. Tony got up on the high side. Tony got up here behind us and beside Biffle. There's Casey Kane. Ooh, we made contact with Kozlowski and got up in the wall. Uh, I was getting a big run and I just ran. I ran right in the back because Lyle's kid was he just is done for us. Now we got Chase Elliott behind us and we're running 19th with 25 laps to go. And so right now we're just going to ride around and just uh, make sure that we're in a position at the end. It's something we haven't been really worried about this season. We've been more worried about we need to be up front get up front and now that we're up front we need to worry about you know keeping them keeping the car in good tack for a good finish not wrecking it not tearing it up we need that. so we're now 18th and uh, or 19th excuse me because I keep we're 18th so this is like a race maybe where hopefully our pitch strategy can come in and we could just you know snag a dub I love to try to get a win here and over. As our spotter says, that was a great lap. And we're going to go by Keselowski in the top. He's going to battle back on the bottom. But over that high side is good. Because we, if you watched uh, the uh, spring race, Kyle Larson used the top and almost won. Chase Elliott also used the top, too. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, in the fall race this uh, was Sunday, and uh, yeah, that race was, uh, it was like one of the old, it's where we were sideways, maybe I should stop talking about old Dover, and that's a caution, the big one has happened here at Dover, and we're involved, we're going to come in and pit. If we still get hit. The car's not started back up there, it was rolling. And we're, we lost 16 spots. We are at 39. Brian Scott got the free pass. Apparently, he's still lapped down. So, something happened Brian Scott. The race is going green. green flag. Right. So we had a horrible start. But, uh, yeah, the actual Cup Series race at Dover, it was like one of the old Dover races where, where you could take a nap in it. <laughs> I know I took a nap. I fell asleep at halfway and woke up with 23 to go. Ish. Yeah. So I woke up around 23 to go. Took a nap at halfway. I don't know. It just didn't feel as good as it over has felt in the past. Oh, God, I hit the wall time. But I like uh, the just the river fall race where Junior and Murray were battling each other for a chase spot. Kind of like all the guys who were on the tail end of the chase, the, on the bubble. Kind of. They looked like they all had problems. Tony got 13th. Tony did what he had to do. Like, I mean, 
he still didn't get in. Uh, Kyle Larson had a problem. Murray had a problem. James, uh, not James, was Chris Buescher. Just getting in the chase was a win for him. Just getting in the chase was like winning the championship for that team. So and we're in the long game. Uh, that was like winning the championship for him. So technically, he didn't need to advance in this next round. And the only way he was going to advance is if he won the race. Still there. And that's what we need to do. We need to get up here and win the race. It's halfway, and we're back here at 34. Looking like we're going to come home with one of these bad finishes like we've been coming home with. It's bad. We are flying through the front Contact with Tony. We're sideways, and we catch it right in front of Truex. But Truex is going to go by. That is the official fall winner of the chase. So, I don't know. My, I think my eliminations for the next round of the chase. I don't know. That's too hard to think about. I was going to say maybe one of the Hendrick cars. I just don't know which one. It might be Chase. Chase has been on the rough. I don't know. That's too hard to say. But it looks like the next two... Next rounds are going to be the better rounds. And usually that's when all the fights start, is in these next couple of rounds. As we're battling with a net, get put in a wall. I think we, our engine, either our engine or our radiator is now yellow. And we're in the wall again, which we don't need to do. Our radiator is yellow. So we're getting, we're getting restricted airflow to the engine. Our tires are worn out. And we're up against the wall again. We're gonna battle a castle. We're in the wall, man. These tires are dead. Ten to go and our tires are dead. But we still have a pretty fast race car. Still there. We're gonna get by castle. Maybe get up here by Almondinger. Oh man, Castle made a three wide actually. Look at that. Still there. Landon Castle sticking the nose in. And he wants to get up here with us. Just follow me, Landon. We'll get us a good finish. Nice place. And there's a crash right in front of us. David Reagan. Crew chip this trouble, so that more than likely means that the game might throw a caution for it. David Reagan was all over. The, he shot back up the track, so I know he hit somebody. We're running 25th. We're 20, now we're 25th. Making a pass. Now we're up to McMurray. He blew up this week. Oh, contact. We're wiggling. 24th. McMurray coming back and battling. No caution. Back under my back three. And we have cleared him. Down the back straight away. Chase Elliott in front of us. We are flat trying to dig. Clear McMurray. Six to go. Top 20 is going to be really good for us today if we can get up there to it. Chase Elliott. Kyle Larson. There's Chris Buescher. We got cars pitting. We're in front of Chase Elliott. Elliott back underneath. A lot of the field is coming to pit road. This has put us in sixth position. Oh, we bobble under Elliott. On the high side of it. Battle with Chase Elliott. This is for a top five. It may be our first top five of the season. Our tires are so bad right now. They are shot. We're sliding all up the racetrack. Four laps to go. 
Now lap traffic is in the way. Tony Stewart sitting in fourth. Danica Patrick now is a lap down. And we're trying not to wreck. We're all up in the wall. As Landon Castle is running us down. I told him to follow us to have a good day. And right now he's in seventh. I don't know who the leader is. Three laps to go. We're riding in six. Chase Elliott still just a tad bit in front of us. When we hit that clean air, it just it hurt us because of our arrow getting that bad damage. Somebody slow on the apron down here. That's Eric Jones. Carlo. Here comes Landon Castle to battle. Door to door, side by side, running it down. Two laps to go. All clear. Carlo. Trying everything. Danica Patrick on fresh tires. Kurt Busch behind. Carlo. Uh, behind Atlanta Castle. Four wide. Three wide, excuse me. Let's look at Kurt fly by. We're sitting in seventh spot. Here comes Carlo. more cars on fresh tires. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. White flag is in the air here at Dover. As we're trying to run down, and the caution has came out, and the race is over. Looks like something happened to Ron Blaney. And we are seventh place here at Dover. So it looks like something happened to Blaney. And Denny Hammond wins the Drive for Autism 400 here at Dover. Ricky Stenhouse comes home second. And we came home in a top 10 spot. And a very good top 10. And we got a Dockside pay of top 15. As Dockside was on the card this week. Let's see where that puts us in points. 162 points. We're sitting at 32nd right now. We have put ourselves in a hole in the early part of the season. As next up is the Coca-Cola 600, the longest race of the year. Great news, we picked up a secondary sponsor. Oh, sweet. Our secondary sponsor for Dover, or for, is going to be Aspen Dental. I think we can get a top 20 at Charlotte. We've been actually pretty all right, decent on the mile and a half. So our current one is Duralast, so we, I guess Duralast is going to be on the card. Uh, Snap Fitness. Guys, okay, goodies now on the car. So, goodies is our secondary sponsor. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace.